Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody posted this picture on Facebook. <clears throat> there's really no, there might be a font out there that has this, but there's really no way to trace it or contour it and make this work. I've already done two letters. I would uh, still need to work on that right there. But it's not as, if you only have to do one word, uh, this is quite possible. And the uh, P is probably the hardest. So I'm going to do, I might do the R, but I'm going to do the N first and, and call it good. I'm going to get rid of my blue. <clears throat> and there are midpoint, I've turned this into a curve. It's not a text anymore. It's a curve. So these lines have midpoints. So I'm going to go to a two-point line, and I'm going to get on the midpoint. And even though that's the midpoint there, I don't want that, so I'm going to hold down the control button. I'm actually going to go past it. Well, I didn't get on the midpoint. Start moving it, and then hold down the control button. So this will have a midpoint. Start moving it, hold down the control button. And then this is kind of your, you know, you could probably measure, but... Um, you know, you could tell that that doesn't look too good. So what you could do is take the shape tool and bring that down, maybe bring this up a little bit. And there's a lot of ways you could measure. But also there's lines just partially through part of it. So I measured uh, my first one and just made a rectangle around it. So I'm going to put that, let me zoom in here. I'm going to put that right about there, and I'm going to take another line. Well, I should have put the midpoint first. Now I got pretty close. So we're going to, there's no midpoint for this side, and there's also no uh, part of it. So we're going to go midpoint here all the way across to the midpoint, and we'll take another one of these boxes and put it. I'm going to get it close and then zoom in. So the curve letters are going to be the only ones that are really a problem. So let's make a copy of that and put it right there. So at this time, we can take the virtual sigma delete key and delete these lines whoop, that we don't need for sure. There's only a few key tricks to this. Now that made that line in the middle disappear. So just back up. And then really in, in their font, they have this coming right to, to there. So we'll call them, we'll call that good. Then just take the virtual sigma delete key and delete these lines. And once you have all these lines deleted, you can move your font away. I'm nudging it down. I can move my boxes away. I need to do a little bit of trimming on that. So I need to trim that and that. Now the key, it, and right here, the key is right now combine this. And then change it to one point. We'll change it to black right now, but we're gonna change it to well, no, I was thinking the original was white. So now all you have to do is move your numbers back up. But the key, the most important thing you could do is this is all combined. You've got to go to object and convert the outline to an object. Because if you don't, when you smart fill this, it's going to take over. Let's just do that. Let's, let's back up here and then hopefully I have it. Let me back up one more time. Yep. Okay. Now, I haven't converted to an object yet. But look what happens when we smart fill it when, it's, when you do it, not an, ob, not an outline. I don't need the blue in there. See what it did? It took over the lines. So if you will take your lines and convert them to an object. And then when we smart fill it, you have that right there. The other letters are equally as easy. 
you know, there's a little bit of tab going down, but you can measure that. The R and the P were probably the hardest. And I kind of figured out a way to do the R. Uh, it's not that hard. Uh, well, let's just do the whole R. And if you're not interested in this, you can hang up. And midpoint to midpoint. And I need to really look at that other R. See, it's, it's going up. So we're going to, we're just going to kind of go up here right now. Now, the hardest part is getting that line. Let's draw one more line. Getting the line equal on the R. I'm going to just hold down the control button. So what I kind of thought about is I'm going to smart fill this. And I'm going to nudge out of the way. I'm going to left click, right click. And I am going to go to contour, contour to the outside, 0.1. And let's see if that doesn't fit. And you, you, you could change your contour, break contour apart. Well, whenever you have the smart fill tool in your hand, now just nudge that back. Look at that. That's our part of the R that we needed. So I'm going to delete a couple of lines. I don't need that line anymore. That line doesn't go past, so we're going to delete that. And now we're going to get our little boxes. And zoom in. Boy, I hit it right on the money. Hit the plus key. Put it right there. Um, I think we're going to put one up here just so we'll know how far away to go. And see what, I'm using it as a measurement, um, so it's all kind of the same. So then I can delete this line, I can delete this line, I can delete this line, and it is a little bit of work, but if you only have one, one word to do, uh, it would be pretty much worth it. And you could play around with the, this part right here. I'm just going to make my other line. Well, I'll make the black one count. But I need to, I need to intersect that. So get the two point line. See, it's going downhill a little bit, so I'm just going to raise it up a little bit. So if I hold down the control button, it'll go across perfectly. Then I'll get rid of that with the virtual segment delete key, and you can play around with that and get it better. Now I can take away my box, grab our box, whoop, grab our box, move it out of the way, grab the, well, we need to cut a couple more lines. And I know a lot of people aren't ever going to do this, but it might give you an idea. Grab our box and move them out of the way. Now I got a little bit of trimming on both bottom of the letter. The key is to combine it and then make it a point. And then, so what we can do, I don't have that going all the way to the top. So I'll use the shape tool. There we go. Now, Take your text and move it down. Take all this and go up to object and combine it. And then at this time, you can make it that one point and make it black by right clicking. And once again, convert the outline to an object and take our smart fill. I think that looks pretty good. The S would be kind of, yeah, the S will be kind of easy. The E will be, the, everything else, I think the P and the R are the hardest. Um, the S, if I have time, I might, you know, or R, if the person I'm trying to help thinks this will work for him, I'll help him do a, an S. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.